Eat the brown part of this banana. Hey, all my new interns are here. How about you guys go ahead and neuter this pig? That's exactly what you want to do. Perfect. I see a crawfish in this. <gasps> We're going to go ahead and boil both these crustaceans tonight. <gasps> I need to catch this prairie dog. How's my butt look? I'm also going to show you guys how to boil some prairie dogs. Oh, good morning, everybody. Today I gave Poggers and Queen a rotisserie chicken for breakfast. Because my buddy and I got it at the store and then we left it in the sink for some reason last night. Look at Kevin just watching her. Oh, Queen. You really eating my kind? It's another cool fall morning and the clappies are sitting in here. I'm gonna let them get to this fruit that I left in here from the last video. I left it in here so they wouldn't all eat it at once. So now they have access to all this food again and they still aren't pooping in the pool. There is no poop in the pool and I know they're pooping a ton right over there in the corner. It's amazing. I cured their cringe pooping habits. They also have tons of hay in there that stays dry. You really just ate that entire rotisserie chicken. But boy, do I have a video for you guys today i am out of food for the rat tights so i need to get some alfalfa pellets and some chick starter and some other little thing thankfully all kinds of little green sprouts are growing up everywhere back here look how green that is and that is all food for them but i don't want them to eat at all and they need supplementation in their diet and a good friend of the channel actually donated two pallets of feed for us my fault for not mentioning rat tight feed because there's only a couple animals that eat sweet feed now if little kanye here eats too much sweet feed he will get poopy and we don't want that do we, Kanye? But all these guys are doing really well. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? The chick is still thriving. There is a kangaroo around here somewhere. Just trust me. Where is the baby? Man, I just do not see the baby anywhere. I'm panicking. The pigs are all in the neighbor's property for some reason, but it's an abandoned lot. Oh, look at these little guys. Whoa. Hit rapper and artist from Cleveland, Missouri, the baby. Sir, it's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard that you've been visiting my property for some time now. Thank you for being here. The baby likes to go back there and hang out with all the stuff in there and eat it. Oh, the baby, please. No, I'm I'm about to go to the gym. No, my feet are covered in mud now. Look at this. Okay, love you, the baby. Just checking on you, making sure you're okay. Look how pretty this is. Cringe. I also need new the baby food now because these guys are gonna finish it. Oh, even Kevin's eating the the baby food. Well, okay, I guess I need to get new food for everything, so we're going on a tractor supply run. There's also three other feed stores within a five-minute radius of my house. Waco sure is an interesting city. Look at my queeb. She is perfect. The next day. Good morning, everybody. It's a new beautiful day, and my interns are finally here. We have new interns. I finally got new interns. Okay, all my new interns are here. How about you guys go ahead and neuter this pig for me? Huh? How's about yeah. you guys? I have a pocket knife. Big ounce, you're being cringe. But I went ahead and released the other piglets, and now Big Ounce is friends with them. Hey, it's me editing Ben, and I sent Big Ounce behind enemy lines, and after making friends with this pig and sleeping with them for a few nights now he's friends with all of them friends for life these, these Look, two are friends he, yeah big ounce is friends oh, with these two also basically slept together for a whole week straight. I fed Paul Kafaro to Big Ounce? I fed YouTubers to Big Ounce? It's a big world for a little man like him. Oh, he's gone, he's gone! Paul lost Big Ounce? Oh. Big Ounce goes AWOL? Wow, a wild prairie dog. Don't mind if I get back here. Good shot of me. Good, good shot. Does, does my butt look good? Your butt looks massive. Oh, oh no. I need to catch this prairie dog. How's my butt look? Oh, big owl. <laughs> stop it. Come back here. This is how I get him. I have to scratch his face first, and then that distracts him. Then he'll let me pick him up. But if you just try to pick him up, it will never work. This cured my depression. Look, the baby really wants to get out here. If I let the baby out here, he would literally just disappear. Okay, interns are here to collect the honey. How's about you guys go in? You don't need suits. These guys are non-aggressive. They're not Africanized. Perfect, perfect. Oh, Poggers is getting stuck. Pogger, go, come on, come on, go. Go, 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 go. Poggers first bee sting. Okay, perfect. Yeah, just go ahead in there. Just lift up uh, the whole hive. That's exactly what you want to do. Perfect. Uh, well, they put combs in there as you can. Oh, they finally got a little bit of comb. You do have honey in there. Okay, good. All right, now go ahead and eat it. Where did he get stung? In the ear? Yeah. I thought it was on the cheek. Dang. He is okay. See, I take great care of my interns, you guys. You see, I take amazing care of them. But that's their food. That's the food I give them for a week. And if they feed it to the capybaras, then they don't get anything out. I'd rather do this than eat. Perfect. Wow. Yeah, get back to work, Paul. Okay, I'm gonna leave the interns out here tonight. We're not letting them stay in the greenhouse because the ones that do just keep dying. But that's it, you guys. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Don't mind if I do. Oh, <laughs> that's dinner. As you guys can see, this is the annual grackle migration in Waco. This only happens, uh, I think, once a year. 
Right now, we're looking for food for the interns because apparently they need more than an apple a week. Okay, guys, I'm here with Balt from Be Alt. He's going to be our intern keeper because my interns keep dying. He's been taking care of interns for years. How many interns have you had now? Uh, I've had I've had about 24 in my 12-year experience of harboring interns, keeping them alive. I've got a lot of experience there. Well, apparently, we need to feed them at least once every three days. And that's way more than these other farming YouTubers feed their interns. But here in Waco, Texas, there's a terrible invasive Australian crawfish population. Aussie bros call them prawns, but they're really big and they're everywhere here and we need to get them and get rid of them. The game warden said we need to get rid of them to save the ecosystem here. So we're gonna go ahead and look for them and then we're gonna feed them to our intern. Ooh, found a little pumpkin here. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, a couple little pill bugs in there. Yum, yum, yum. And the game wardens told me that there's a lot of them in this area. So if we can find these, we'll be able to feed our interns for weeks. Oh my science, fellow Reddit users. I think I see a crawfish in this <gasps> i'm gonna get all kinds of karma for finding this crawfish in here this is an australian freshwater crawfish as you guys can see they're very invasive here and the best part of this is these are really great food for the interns and the game wardens are paying us five bucks a pop to get these things out of the environment so we're doing great today and you know what five bucks could get, almost get us a chipotle burrito for ourselves <laughs> okay guys game wardens told me that this place is riddled with them this is just a cringe urban creek in waco they love going into the shallow of water at night you guys and this is what this little shallow creek here is <gasps> take a look at this you guys this is a huge one and i definitely did not put this here for views and the game wardens sure are gonna love that we're getting these things out of the ecosystem man if only we had something to put this thing in huh <laughs> yeah, well and we cleaned up some trash while we were at it whoa there's another one on my bed crazy how these invasive crawfish keep invading waco you guys we all need to team up and work together to get rid of these invasive crawfish well now that it's already here let's go ahead and throw it in the pot these ones are a lot harder to catch first you gotta scratch the faces get in real close to them oh we got them and this one's rather big <laughs> now we just need to get this guy put him in the pot and we'll eat him just kidding, you guys. This was Quandale the whole time. <laughs> With the little costume, he looks just like a lobster. But you can see here when he's next to Gort that it really is just a capybara and not, in fact, a, uh, a an Australian crawfish. Look at this beautiful little man. Wow. Hey, first thing we're going to do is clean off this adorable little pot here that I got. It's the perfect size for Quandale to fit in. I mean, the, uh... And then we're going to fill it up about halfway with some hot water. Hey, it's me editing Ben again. Can't forget our most important ingredient, Big Ounce. Okay, guys, welcome back to Cooking with Uncle Ben. Today, we're going to be cooking all the lobsters that we found in the creek. But I'm also going to show you guys how to boil some prairie dogs. I'll make sure you have a big pot like this because it's got to be big enough for this little man to fit in there. Feeding a lobster to Big Ounce? Big Ounce eats his first lobster? Gone wrong? Gone Fortnite? Gone Reddit? James Charles? Look, guys, they're literally the same thing. We're going to go ahead and boil both these crustaceans tonight. <gasps> so Tupac has become very proficient at climbing. Meanwhile, this man just uh -oh. Oh! Now, guys, I don't usually get political here, but this says a lot about our society today. Gort's just over here eating Quandale's costume. Look how precious this is. Here, Gort, quick, eat the brown part of this banana. Now, eat the brown part of this banana, Gort. Eat the brown part of this banana. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at her grab it with her little hand. Why are you hiding your cringe eating habits from me? Okay, guys, next thing you're gonna, oh, dropped a little bit there. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is we got a little bit of salt that we're gonna put in the boiling water. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a little bit of this Mediterranean sea salt. Yes, I'm rich, ever heard of it? I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here. You are filming, Mom? Yes. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just, just sprinkle a little bit like this in here. Uh-oh, spilled a little bit there and some of it's burning. You can actually hear the salt crackling and burning underneath the pot. A little trade secret that I have here. It's been in my family for a while. The best thing for boiled lobster is a little bit of a kitten. I put this in here. It's a little bit of a Halloween twist on my lobster. Now, what would you guys do if I actually did put Tupac in there? Don't stop eating that costume. Okay, and now that it's starting to boil, we're gonna go ahead and take our biggest lobster, and then we're gonna go ahead and cook them for about 45 minutes. <laughs> and then we just cook them for another. Wait a minute, that was Gort? Why didn't you tell me that was Gort? You told me you put him in a costume? Put the what? biggest one in 
Why would you put him in a lobster costume on Lobster Day? Mmm, this almost looks too good to give to my interns. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna give it to him, I promise. Check this out. Hey, it's me, Paul Cafaro. I sure do love this lobster. Brenton from Fanatic here, and I also agree. Hey, and it's me, Jaquan. Thanks, Uncle Ben, for being such a great boss. I really enjoyed this lobster. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching my video. I love you, appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe to Gort, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell. Man, this dog is terrifying. Barnacles!